Hey guys, today I'm doing a double dip. This one is inspired by Jelly Cube. I saw it on one of her videos with a beautiful result. So I'm going to try and get a similar result. It is really pretty and lovely to do. So give it a try. I'm using white as my base coat and using my pastry brush to move the paint around. It's actually really nice to do because it's easy. It moves easily and you can paint your sides like this quite quickly. And because it's a dip, you don't have to worry about the surface being all smooth and, and perfect. So this is a lovely way to um, do your base coat when you're doing a dip. The pastry brush is pretty cool. So there you can see I'm done. I'm giving it a torch because there are plenty bubbles. So this is a custom color. It is purple and magenta. That is magenta, I think. This is aqua green. And obviously white and brilliant red and cerulean blue. I'm just doing puddles. I'm not um, trying to be very specific. I'm just putting puddles down anywhere I want. I'm going to move the paint around a little bit and put some more paint down. Just because I try, I'm trying not to think too much. I'm just painting. Sometimes we need to just put paint down on the canvas and just see what happens. So that's what I'm doing here. I think putting white down on both canvases works well because if you only put it on the one side you have to put a fair amount down because it doesn't always transfer over to the other canvas. I thought the gold would be a pretty cool addition especially when it's just over the white so that you get like this gold frame around your colors. I'm just pushing the paint down onto the other canvas and I'm using a plastic knife to go underneath the wood to make sure that that part transfers too. Although now that I think about it, half of it is just white. So I don't think it was necessary that I did that much, but I'd rather just do it too much than too little and worry about the paint not transferring over. Now flipping it around, I'm going to flip it around and this helps transfer the paint from the one canvas over to the other canvas so the weight of the paint follows gravity on the edges there I'm just rubbing in the white so that it is covered and that, that there aren't bare edges And some of the color is dripping out at the on that edge there, which is to be expected. I'm just giving it a bit of a push again to make sure it transferred. Again, I think I didn't have to do it quite that much. But I did it, so that's okay. Cool, now it's time to pull them apart. And the first thing I think of when I see this 
is one of those, I can't remember exactly what they're called, but those cards that psychiatrists use and they hold it up and say, what it, they say, what do you see? It looks just like that to me. But anyway, the colors turned out beautiful. I'm a bit disappointed that you don't see as much of the magenta purple paint. Um, suppose because it was the first paint that I put down, it was covered with all the other colors. So the next time I do this, I'm going to use a lot more of that. And perhaps put red down first or whatever. And I think I'll use a little bit less paint. I used a bit too much paint. But either way, it doesn't matter. It is beautiful the way it turned out. I really like it. Even though I did not use silicone and this is glue and not Floetrol, I still get some cells, which I'm very happy about. And I love the gold frame that I spoke about. It just makes it, it gives it this delicate touch. This is the part that was inspired by Ginny. Um, taking my stick and making little stems for flowers. And it makes these lovely little lines in the paint where, where a lot of the paint is. Which brings out some interesting features like there, like the one I just did now. You can see blue come up in between the, the red. This is the size of my little balloon. It's got water in it. And that's the perfect size for what I'm doing now. The little flowers that I need. So the first dip that I did, I didn't get enough paint off it. And then the second dip, as you can see, I got a fair amount of paint. So you take your paint from the... You dip your balloon in the paint. And then you use that paint to create your little flowers on the edges of your stems. Sometimes the paint that you take off is just too thick on your balloon, or too much, sorry. Um, and it will, the flower will be too, too dense. It won't be pretty. It'll just be the solid, round blob of color. It won't be delicate like that. Like the very first one I did was a little bit too solid for my liking. Now I don't know what possessed me to do that line because I did not do the same thing on the other canvas. So on that canvas I have seven flowers and on the other canvas I only have six. And I only realized this when I was watching the video. And this caused a bit of an OCD reaction. They should have been even but I realized that too late the paint was drying. And there was nothing I could do about it. So it's just a case of accept it and move on. But I was very upset about that. It's still, it's, they're still beautiful. But to me, the one having seven and the other one having six, just, no, that's just wrong. So I, I definitely encourage you to give this a go. I, I didn't know what to paint. I was a bit stuck. And I didn't want to do anything difficult or detailed. 
I didn't want to experiment trying to do a Dutch pour or anything like that and so I went to look at some videos and I actually had Jilly's video bookmarked and I decided just to do this it's it's easy it's fun you just play with paint and I'm really glad that I did because I love these they look very very nice together next to each other they would look stunning on the wall next to each other and I felt satisfied when I was finished that I had accomplished a lovely painting when I was actually stuck and didn't know what I wanted to do. So these are the paintings. I am done. Um, I Here's a close-up of each of them. I am super happy with them. Look how nice they look next to each other. I can only imagine how pretty they would look up on a wall. Thank you for watching my video. Please hang around. Here are some close-ups. And I will see you again soon. Thanks. Bye.